They go to talk to the cop, and the cop's just like, "You don't have any proof. Get out of here." Well, no, oh, the cop whoa, whoa, says whoa, whoa, the woman on. doesn't no, no, no. exist. <laughs> yeah, like there's, there's, you don't have any proof. There, this person doesn't exist. But all the while, the cop is chopping apples with a medieval hand axe. Yeah. I mean, there is only way to describe it. It is a hand axe. Yeah. Middle Ages, like giant point on the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's bizarre. That's how. I mean, that's just what you do. I don't know. I, Cops, I gotta tell you, this is when the movie kind of run me back, because I was... It was a random weird scene. I was getting scene. dull, but I was suddenly like, okay, if you can have a guy with a medieval axe just chopping apples on his desk and mm-hmm. not giving a fuck nope. about what anyone's saying... Axe cop. Yeah. Because, I mean, every... I'll take it. Everyone's opinion of cops in this movie, including the cops themselves, are like, you gotta bring us proof there or there's nothing we can do. Which is <laughs> yeah. the opposite of what cops do. Detective case... <laughs> Yes, yes, detective, detective case. case. Very mm-hmm. important to remember mm-hmm. that name. <laughs> remember that. <laughs> Ken takes her back to her place. Right. And she's like all stressed mm-hmm. out. And mm-hmm. Ken's she's like, you know what? Now's out. the time to put the moves on her. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Because he starts doing like Shoulder back massage. rub. And she's, you know, she goes in the kitchen. She's like, well, what do you want to, what do you want to eat? You look beautiful. I got beans. She's like, all I got is beans. <laughs> and he's like, all right, I like beans. Whatever. And so. <laughs> I like being kinda, with you. Uh, <laughs> she hears something out the window. Yeah, yeah, she hears something outside and like looks over and the can of beans that she set down is gone. Oh, right. And she starts freaking out. Oh my god. What? And Ken comes in and he's like, you didn't bring him in here. What's, what's going on? What's wrong? And, <laughs> and <laughs> you can hardly say it, can you? I can't. <laughs> Somebody else might have to do this. Literally her, her, her line when he walks in. There's something out there and it took my beans. <laughs> it's so great it's just random like someone put that it's down on a piece of paper like yes good great finished but scene say I, this I don't know about you but like anyone who's ever like written anything or like had movie ideas like I used to have a notebook where I, like, yeah. I'd come up with a line and mm-hmm. it was just like put this line down I'm gonna work it into a movie one day mm-hmm. <laughs> that seems like the kind of stupid thing I would have written down and said yeah can I work that in? Yeah. Yes. I just, yes, I can work that in. You would have put it in a different movie, though. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. not have forced it into your, your killer liked, deal with the devil she health liked spa beans. movie. beans. Sure. <laughs> she loved yeah. beans. He's got his axe, because every cop and my has axe. his axe. And he goes up and pokes up the ceiling tile, and that's when Mr. X startles him, and he falls on the floor, and, and sta- he dies he himself on, with his own axe. <laughs> that's... That's when Mr. X, close up on Mr. X's face, who smiles and just says, Case closed. And that, my friends, is where the movie won me back. Even better is they pan over his badge that yeah. says Case. Yeah, in like, case you forgot that get that, it? that was in his case name. you his, forgot. His oh. name is Case. Anyone. I'm struggling with my knacks here, and all you can do is make jokes and chop on fruit. I told you before, I'm on the new San Francisco diet. All fruits. Is that so hard to remember? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot. You could hardly remember your own name. It's Marty. At least mine's normal. Dual Shakespeare's dumb. I've explained why I've changed my name. But then, of course, that requires a rudimentary intelligence for comprehension. Hell! I give anything to get this weight up. I have an important announcement, my dears. You okay, Mrs. Benson? You don't look very good. No, I'm not, Doyle. I'm afraid I'm going to have to close the spa. For good, you mean? I'm afraid so, Rock. You three are my only regular customers. I just can't compete with these fancy new spas. These days, people don't go to a gym to work out. They go to socialize. This place isn't much to look at, you have to admit. I'm sorry. Should have seen it coming. You'd have to be imbeciles not to have seen the writing on the wall. Which wall? I didn't see it. Please. I'd like to be alone now. Hell, why don't we go down to Harry's bar and chug a few boilermakers? That'll cheer you. (laughs) 